I just moved to a new place, and in the time between my two apartments, I had to stay in a hotel for a few days. Thankfully, my entire bathroom is Hello Kitty themed, even the poop bucket. That's the bucket that you use when you- Whatever you do, don't trust the jam here. It looks like grandma made it. Tastes like the Kool-Aid man did something dirty. They also give you free games, like, where's the toilet paper? Oh, right next to where water pours out of a hole in the wall. When I was a kid, I never wanted to take a bath. I always wanted to keep playing or watching television. Whatever excuses kids come up with in order to avoid doing that thing that takes you one step closer to bed. I'd say that I absolutely had to finish this thing. I had a momentum going. Come on, just a little bit longer, please. At some point, I'd run out of excuses. My parents would finally get me into the bath. No more bright flashing televisions, no more toys based on cartoons. When I finally accepted this and just slid down into the warm water, a whole new world opened up. Playing with waves, having intense conversations between pirates and people that were being forced to walk the plank, and playing with the foam on top of the water. I would completely lose myself in there. And when time came to leave, I didn't want to. I had an amazing world with no distraction, just focused on fun. I didn't want to go back to the short bursts of entertainment that was curated by everyone else. It's easy to get caught up in the momentum of things you have to do, because there's so much out there that's fascinating. When I finally took everything away, that's when everything became clear. I didn't need all those distractions. This is what minimalism was like for me. I had a lifetime's worth of being a designer and curating every little aspect of my life, from a wall of books to the perfect couch. 99% of the time, I just sat there looking pretty. When I finally decided to get rid of everything but one small backpack full of essentials, it was rough. I had friends come over and take giant boxes of things, leaving in complete disbelief, saying things like, if you ever need this, if you ever want it again, you can have it back. At one point, I had to have a friend come over and just start throwing things out without me looking at it, because I would get lost in the nostalgia. I had to rip it off like a band-aid and walk out the door with just my backpack. Suddenly, all the distraction was gone. No more monthly bills, no more fascinating old magazines, no more home. Just me, the world, and what I needed to survive. It was really difficult. It was painful. Walking away from all the momentum I had spent my entire life building. And I discovered that when you stop filling your life with stuff, and get rid of all of it, experiences rush in to fill that void. Your life is an open book. You can fill it with stuff really easily. Or you can get rid of the stuff. Fill it with experiences. I know someday I'm gonna have to go to bed. But right now, I don't wanna get out of the bath. Wow, that sounds douchey. <laughs>